Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. <laughs> All right, so Mission Impossible Rogue Nation is the fifth film in the Mission Impossible franchise. Man, five films. It was pretty good. And now it follows, of course, Ethan Hunt. Though this time he's not on a mission, but this time he's trying to track a this this corporation or this team called the Syndicate, which is like the anti IMF explained by Seven Peg in the film. Yeah, instead of like going after one nation, it's just a group of people that still have all these resources and stuff. And that are doing terrorist attacks pretty much. Yeah, basically they're a bunch of terrorists essentially. Alrighty guys, let's get into Rogue Nation. Have you seen any Mission Impossible movies? I, okay, this is gonna be weird, but I started with the second one. Then I watched the first one. Oh. Didn't see the third or the fourth one yet. Oh, you, those were the best ones, Oh, I missed think. the best ones? Yeah, three and Damn. four are... One is a great one. One is great, though. One yeah, is one great. one was really good. Uh, two is... See, that, that that started off me on the wrong foot, because I was just like, this is kind of okay. That, that's, like, that's, like starting the, that's, like Star War, that's like starting Star Wars off of the prequel trilogy, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, that's never a good way to go. No, I have seen all, all of the Mission Impossible films. By far, my favorite one is Ghost Protocol. This one might be my favorite one, guys. And that's pretty, that's, you know, Ghost Protocol is pretty high up on your list there. Yeah, yeah, I think I, I gave Ghost Protocol a 5 out of 5. It's still that same rating. This is the third film from Christopher McQuarrie. Oh my god, he did a kick-ass job for following mm -hmm. up to one of the biggest action movies of all time. It really seriously. was. It was very phenomenal, honestly. Mm -hmm. It was action-packed. It was everything you could want in a spy kind of action-slash-thriller, honestly. Yeah. It was everything you could want in it, really. Tom Cruise, <laughs> say what you will about him, yeah. but you cannot deny that the guy is a master at his cruff when it comes to action movies. Yeah, and for action movies, as far as acting goes, he is pretty darn good. He's, he's mean, Seriously, he's a magnetic performance to watch on action movies, especially. Absolutely. The thing I love about this movie that, you know, because, you know, of course, you cannot talk to Burj Khalifa. The, one of the things I loved about is that they didn't try and top Ghost Protocol with any, like, amazing stunt set pieces. Yeah. They just wanted to make a really awesome, well-oiled thriller cat and mouse game. Yeah. And I'm telling you guys, they did just that with Ghost, with, not with Ghost Protocol, but with Rogue Nation. Absolutely. And now, the thing is, I can't reference it off of... Uh, Ghost Protocol because I have never seen it. Yeah. But after all the things that you told me about all the action scenes and such, I have to say, yeah, they didn't seem like they were trying to top anything. No. Honestly, I think they were just trying to go for their own thing here. And Absolutely, yeah. It was definitely more than worth just watching. It was great. Yeah, and there were definitely times where even though it wasn't as like, I guess action-packed as Ghost Protocol was, there were times where my heart was pounding from the yeah, tension. Seriously. Yeah, there was there was a lot of. Um, Really like suspenseful parts, a lot of stuff that would keep you at the edge of your seat. Yeah, like one. In all honesty, yeah, as there's some parts where I actually didn't move. I was like, oh no. I saw, I saw you, I saw you going like this. Yeah, I, I was, I was like, like, Shane was really into it. Yeah, I was. It was actually really crazy. I haven't seen this good pulse pounding action since Mad Max Fury Road, seriously. And that motorcycle chase sequence, holy crap, seriously. That was a good one. Wow. Oh, and course. Seven Peg was just as funny as he has ever been in, seriously. Absolutely. He, he's been in Mission Impossible 3 and 4, but oh my god, there is a scene where like there's this car that was tumbling, <laughs> and how he just wakes up with this hysterical. Yeah, he gets knocked out, but then afterwards he comes to his senses and he still thinks they're like still flipping <laughs> in midair. <laughs> it, was, um, it was, did really oh, yeah. well. Yeah, he was, he's a great actor, honestly. He's, yeah, no one really seems to recognize his talents, but not only is he a comedic actor, but he's like a dramatic actor as well. Like he's, he's if good. he was in the Worlds and or any of the Cornado trilogy movies, guys, watch those. Seriously. Absolutely. Opera scene is awesome. The plane scene is great. Literally every scene just had my heart pounding with what suspense and everything. Seriously. Absolutely. There it, was there wasn't really much bad things to say about no, it. No, there really wasn't. No. Nah. Now for me, I do have one, it's just one little nitpick I have with this movie, is that here and there... Yeah, same thing here. I'm just gonna say right now, our scores differ. Yeah. Not by very much. No. But I was about to say that yes, pacing was just a tad bit off. Yeah. And there was a few things that were a tad bit predictable, but overall, I, I it's hard to find anything bad about this one. Yeah. It really, it's really hard to find anything bad about it. Overall, Mission Impossible Rogue Nation, it's just an awesome movie, guys. It's fun, it's smart, it's thrilling, it's really funny as well. 
It's and for me, for me, it's my favorite out of the Mission Impossible series. I'm gonna see it again to make sure, to make sure. But for, for but as of this moment right now, it's my favorite one. It's not my favorite action film of the year. Mad Max is there, but still, nonetheless, I'm giving this a five out of five. I'm a huge Mission Impossible fan, and I absolutely loved it. I could, okay. I'm, and I'm can't <laughs> wait to see it in IMAX again. All right. So even though we've praised the crap out of this film, yeah, <laughs> for sure, I'm gonna have to give it a four point five. Yeah, that's still high grade. I still it's very high grade. It's not perfect, but I have to say that. It was oh no! If it was a perfect, I would give it a six out of five. If you're a fan of action movies in general, if you love Mission Impossible, if you even love Tom Cruise, guys. Definitely. Don't see Vacation this weekend. I, I haven't seen it myself, so I can't say I can't say say, but from what I've seen, it looks it's, atrocious. It, yeah. Guys, go see Mission <laughs> Impossible. You'll have one hell of a time. Seriously, go For see sure. it. Absolutely. Comment let us know below which one is your favorite so far from what you have seen. I'm on <laughs> Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. All the links are in the description below if you want to follow me on all those social media platforms. If you liked what you saw, please like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. And as always, guys, until the next review, I will see you guys next time.